Thanks for staying with us, guys. Do you have multiple different animals in your house? Well, Jolyn Payne with Rocking Paw is here to explain some things that you want to make sure that you are doing. Hello, my name is Jolyn Payne, and I am the owner and trainer of Rocking Paw Dog Training and Kennel Suites. Today, we're going to talk about animals living with other species of animals. So here at Rocking Paw, we have a cat, we have three conures, and we also have a bearded dragon, and then we have several dogs. Everybody coexists at the training center during the day when we're at work. So I expect for my dogs not to jump on cages, not to chase the cat or anything like that. So how do you create these relationships? Through training. Because the one that's usually causing the issues would be the canine because they're the ones that might be chasing the cat or trying to eat the bird seed that's fallen out of the cage or even possibly jumping on the cage to get to the bird. So what kind of training am I talking about? Boundaries. Dogs always need to know their boundaries. Whether it's not allowing them into a child's room so that they're not uh, potting in that room or chewing up the toys, or it may be that you have a bird, whether it be a conure or a parakeet or whatever else. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna teach the dog boundaries. In other words, they can't go past this point and to do that, first you start with management. So if you already have a grown dog and you're introducing a bird, then what you wanna do is create that boundary by using management. You might use an X-pin. Put the X-pin around the, the bird cage. Make sure and reward the dog when they are not approaching that X-pin at all times. Keep moving that X-pin closer and closer to the bird cage and eventually the X-pin leaves. If you have a cat, it's easier to introduce a puppy to a new cat than it is to get a rescue dog that you don't know their history with cats, but it's still possible. Again, management to begin with, great introductions with that dog and the cat. If the dog is not going to get along with the cat, then you may have to deal with management and not allowing the cat or the dog in certain rooms. Otherwise, just monitor. Most dogs are okay with, with cats until they run and then it becomes a prey chase game. So if you teach the dog an incompatible behavior, the cat runs, you lay on your mat. The cat runs, you lay down. Things like that, then you can have that healthy relationship between two species of animals. If you need any help with this, don't hesitate to contact us either by telephone or email or the best way to get a hold of us is on our Facebook page at um, Facebook backslash Rocking Paw. All right, y'all have a great day. Thanks, Dolan. Always such good tips from you. So thank you so much. Now don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Trends of Friends.